the Hawk Insider. Today we're going to be asking Nicholas Ferrara and Nick Del Bianco some questions. Nicholas, tell me, what are you working on right now? Uh, I'm working on, I guess, three, three projects right now. Mm. The main one being Sherman's Eternity. Right, and then right. We got Board of Clowns, which is coming out this Thursday at eight, I believe. And then we have Alderhide, which is, I don't know when that's gonna come out. So tell me, what do you do exactly? Um, for the most part, I'm a like director, editor, cinematographer, whatever. I'm more on the production end, and but for Alderhide, I'm just an actor, really breaking right. out. Oh, nice, nice. So I guess we always got to ask, why movies? What made you want to make movies? How did you get started? Tell us about that. That's a good question right there. So for my entire life, I had made like YouTube videos since I've been like 10 years old. And like I used to watch like Smosh and stuff. I you, love Smosh. You watch Smosh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah yo. Good, good that's, the, that's the number one influence right there. Uh, and just all the YouTube. I used to want to be a YouTuber, right. and then like, I've probably uploaded like I know you make YouTube videos. I've probably yeah. uploaded like a thousand YouTube videos like in my life. And then when I got to college, I I wanted to be like because I was good at editing. I wanted to be an editor. Right. And then I found out about the digital media production major, and then it kind of translated to films because uh, other Nick Del Bianco is a writer. And right. me and him have been teaming up. <laughs> so, last question before you go. Since you're like always shooting, you're always the director or whatever, except for all their height. <laughs> when do you know when you have the perfect shot? Oh, oh man, yeah. Cause like after we get <laughs> after after I get a shot that I just love, you'll see like Nick, Nick, Nick knows. I'll be like. I'll start like jumping up and down and I'll, I'll be like, you got it. I'll be like, yo, that's the shot. It's pretty nutty. That's <laughs> uh, that's what he says. <laughs> that's what I say. Yeah, that's that's yeah, what that's he what says. I, that's what I say every time I say that's pretty nutty. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, get, I get what you mean. You just kind of see it. You eyeball it. And if it's nutty, then you, you just start jumping up and down. Yeah. Always. Nutty people do that, right? Yeah, I like when I like try something new. Like for um, the clown one, Board of Clowns, we did this shot where um, he drops his keys and then he's got to like, he like goes and reaches for them under the car, but they get dragged away by a string. And like, I was like on my knees, like with the camera turned upside, the whole camera rig turned upside down on the other side of the car. And it came out like, so amazing I was so hyped so when you think about these camera shots is there a director in mind is it just your mind coming up with these things how do you who's your biggest inspiration if you have an inspiration you know it's funny like I I'm not like a crazy like movie nerd you mm. know I just like all I do in class like I don't pay attention and I sit there and I just think of shots possibilities of anything and I sit there in my notebook and I draw them out so you told me you're the director for some of these projects tell me more about how do you know you have the perfect shot and I want to know about board of clowns because that's a very interesting title I happen to be on the set of that by the way <laughs> so I, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit biased I want to know how did you know during the shooting of that that you had the perfect shot Oh, well, I was like, I, I had tried out um, one of the Hawk Studios lenses. I, I think it's Rokin on the 50 millimeter, mm -hmm. and the f stop goes down to like 1.8. And I don't know if you know cameras, but it's like sick. Oh, when you have okay. those like, uh, those cameras that don't have zoom functions mm -hmm. and they just, they're just static, you get to adjust the f stop like on it. Yeah. And so we were filming in like low, like extremely low light. But this thing, you just crank it all the way up and it could suddenly like see and you get that really like shallow focus. And because we were filming like outside in like d the dead of night and we were using like our me and Quinn's uh, headlights to light the scene and a bunch of these little handheld lights. Right. And it was thanks to that lens that we got all those shots. Well, shout out to Hawk Studios for that one. Not for real. <laughs> <laughs> So is it always dependent on the camera? Is it just the setting that you're in? 
Tell me more about that. When you are at, uh, the director or the DP or whatever you want to call it, what are you looking for? I guess like to get like a good shot, the most important thing is to know the camera. Like my first film, I didn't know how to like do the settings on a camera. So for you guys who know what it means, like I had the, I the ISO on like 50K for my first film while we were filming in like low light. And it was like, cra it was just like grainy. It looked like TV static. Yeah. Uh, all right. So you also edit the films, right? Yeah. Uh, how is that process kind of shooting compared to directing or shooting compared to editing? Uh, I always like throw the editing on myself because I'm kind of selfish and I like my to do it my way always. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, like for Board of Clowns, like it was all improv and like as the person shooting it, like I, 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 I would already had it clocked in my head how I was gonna edit it. So I went back and I just did it. I did it, I did that whole scene today. And is that on Premiere Pro, I Da Vinci? Premier, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Nicholas. Uh, I have been Benny Garcia. That's B E double N Y if you were wondering. And it is not a nickname. Uh, we will bring <laughs> Nick Del Bianco right in in just a few seconds. Nick, how are you doing? I'm good, yeah. Uh, we just did uh, last week on Thursday, Board mm -hmm. of Clowns, right? So I was a little like tired after that one because uh, it was. Yeah. It ended up being, I think it was like a 12-hour day or something like that, uh, all in all for me, which is like what they end up usually being yeah. on these things. Uh, and it was funny because like this was a project that I woke up uh, that morning and I was like, oh, it would be so cool if we could try this this project. You know, I wanted right. to do some like experimental type stuff. Uh, I wanted to try like a different type of performance uh, and the character and everything, you know. But um, what isn't usually known is that we uh, did a photo shoot, I wanna say like like three months ago or something, it was last semester right? Uh, back in 2023, uh, where I had like the balloons and everything that you see in the movie and like the, the red shirt, uh, slightly different pants, but like, you know, generally like a uh, similar outfit. Uh, and we did a photo shoot with that. Uh, we called it, I think, the day after. Right. Uh, and that was on uh, the the Duck Supply website, which we should definitely plug somewhere. Mm. Um, and so that that was a good photo shoot. We didn't really think much of it, but I said, well, we would have a built-in poster for this production if we right. did it today. Right. Right. So was it something that you already had in mind, or was it really day of? I mean, if you have a photo shoot three months ahead, I would have to think it, it just kind of ran in the back of your mind, right? Uh. I mean, there's a lot of projects that are always going, you know, in the back of my mind. Right. Obviously, um, there's there's the idea of like we have a couple, you know, projects that we're working on right now. We're doing mm -hmm. uh, Sherman's Eternity, which is something, you know, we'll get into another time. Uh, Alderhide, another uh, short film, which is running about 20 to 25 minutes probably right uh -huh. now. That's what it's looking like. Um, and then this one was honestly a spur of the moment one though. And I, I have a million things like you know going in the back of my head at any time, like story wise. Uh, but I would say this one was honestly day of. We came up with everything the day of, including the makeup, right. which ended up being a nightmare to, to work with. Makeup? I guess you haven't told us, like, okay, what is it that you do when you go into these films, right? Yeah, yeah. We just talked to Nicholas. He yeah. was the director. He kind of worked behind the camera. It sounds like you work in front of the camera. So tell us more about that. Yeah, yeah, so uh, when I was a kid, I, I always like, I mean, I bounced back between like wanting to be like a mad scientist <laughs> and stuff like that, you know, but uh, I, I you know, to be an actor. Kid stuff. I yeah. wanted to be an astronaut, the yeah, president, yeah, yeah. you know. No, I, I love doing the, the like science experiments, like little tricks with my right. family and stuff. And it was good, like little performances. Uh, but I always wanted to act. And then, right. um, you know, th there was a point where I realized, well, it's going to be very difficult to act if I mm -hmm. don't have a lot of performances, right? So the whole reason I got into uh, producing and, and writing specifically in the first place was because, uh, well, because of the fact that I didn't uh, have the opportunity to be cast in things. Uh, so then with time, I got pretty uh, into writing and I, you know, I became kind of protective over my <laughs> stories, right? Right. Uh, but I, I get very intense into these characters and it's always been that way. Um, I don't know if that answers your question necessarily. Uh, not really, but I like <laughs> the backstory, right? It's very important to understand where people come from, how yeah. they started. Yeah. I asked Nicholas about that as well, how he started. He mentioned YouTube. Yeah. You mentioned wanting to be a scientist. 
So yeah, I think we're yeah, all yeah. over the place here, but I like it. Well, uh, yeah, a little all over the place. Well, you would uh, categorize yourself as a writer slash actor or an actor slash writer? Oh, God, that's a tough question. Uh, I didn't know I was uh, going to get hit with like a really hard one here. Because I, I, I love writing, and I, I've probably written for many more years than I've acted. Right. I've, I've been writing like forever uh, and acting like... I mean, I don't know. Anything you'd consider like serious really was just the past like, you know, right. past, like year or so. Uh, so I, I would say probably I'm more of a writer first, and I love my storytelling first. But I love to become a character. Right. You know right. what I mean? I, I get, and, and I, see that character on screen. It's very satisfying. I totally get that. So yeah. you told us you did makeup and it was horrible. Tell us more about oh, like yeah. what that yeah. experience was like, because it sounds interesting. Obviously, boards of clown. You're talking about makeup. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, one of the things that I thought would really sell the character design, especially in you know a, a short that we we were estimating this thing was going to be like when I was pitching it to people, four or five minutes, right? Like a quick short like that. It ended up being twelve, which is like hysterical. <laughs> in one day, we got twelve uh, minutes of a short, and it looks beautiful. Right. But the the makeup process was was pretty grueling because uh, we we went around, we went to Manny's, a couple places in town, and they didn't have face paint because I needed that like white mm. face paint and some like blues and other things. Eventually, I forget what the place is called, but it's uh, right by the pizza place in town. Uh, we ended up getting some, some makeup that I could put on, but it was just very uncomfortable. <laughs> it was like sticky, and then your hands would get like covered in it. You'd right. have to like, really like scrub your hands to get it out, and that stuff was just on my face all day. Uh, so I, I needed like a, a deep cleanse after it, and it took like an hour to put on all the way. Right. So I was on set. For uh, that's right, yeah. For board of clowns, we we had you as one of the the people on the board. I didn't do anything, but <laughs> <laughs> but it was kind of fun to see the process. You know, I get to learn from watching you guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this was a very off the script production. Yeah. So tell me about what the difference between off the script mm -hmm. compared to a script where yeah. you're like, ah, it has to be how I wrote it. No, no, I I, I understand that. Uh, there's some projects that I'm. I'm very protective over, but for, for different reasons. Mm -hmm. Like Sherman's Eternity is a movie that I've been doing for probably three years now. And right. that needs to be scripted. And I needed to have a script in the first place to pitch to people. Right. Now that we have a kind of like established network going where we have a bunch of actors, we have a bunch of people in production and audio, different fields like that, that we can use on set. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think it's such a big deal to say, well, I know that we can create something on set, but I want to work with people. Uh, and let's do something spur of the moment. The spur of the moment means that you're covered in limitations and all of those limitations right. are gonna make it uh, a more special project because then you have things unique to, to you and what you had the day of. So the scripted projects are for when it's longer, I think, yeah. or when it's for something specific or you need to get it off the ground. If you that have people sense. there, uh, you don't need a script. I mean, obviously for, for fun, right? You right, know, or, right. Or for production quality. Depending on wh what you're doing, it might be a good idea. But I almost like this like Gonzo style of, yeah. of filming, where it's like, you know, you just have a bunch of people, you have the equipment, you have a camera, you have basic props, and and like I don't know, like 50 bucks between you to spend on props and stuff, uh, and then you go, no script, and the story gets made in front of your eyes, and right. that is a very fun way to do it. That's what we wanted with Board of Clowns, and I think people are going to be very excited on Thursday when they get to see uh, what we made in, in just a day. Which yeah, is, uh, you know the most fun part about it. I mean, I'll say, I, I was there and I was I was impressed because I was like, man, <laughs> this is a last minute production, uh, and it came out looking great from what I saw at least. Uh, but is there anything else you want to tell the people before you go that I didn't touch on that you didn't touch on? Yeah, I, I'm trying to think. I mean, Board of Clowns. It was a nice performance. I think it was a very like honest bit because you get a lot of forced honesty when you have to do those yeah. those quick things like that. Uh, I want to do a lot more like that, honestly. I know people think that's kind of jarring, you know, because it's like, oh, no yeah. script day of productions. But they honestly end up being the most uh, genuine stuff yeah. out of everything. And, and you kind of lose that filter of like, well, what, what should be made? It ends up just being what you want to make. And I, I'm interested in that. Uh, I'm excited to see what people think of it and get the posters around campus. Uh, but that's all really I have to say for this one. All right, so that will wrap it up. Here at Hawk Insider, I'm your host, Benny Garcia. Oh, and I'm Nick Del Bianco. Thank you for having me on. Of course. Uh, that's a wrap, I guess.
I don't know how to outro this. 